Hey, good morning, Summit. My name's Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. We have switched sides today, Jake, yep. just to throw things off a little bit, keep it keep it alive, all that good stuff. Share this on all your platforms. Uh, if you're getting this on Thursday, if you're here this morning on Sunday, thank you for being here. We are so grateful that you've chosen to be a part of Summit Heights. We know it takes a ton of courage to walk into a room this size. So thank you for being here. We've got a couple of things we need to mention. So Jake, why don't you mention the first thing that's happening today right after the service? Yeah, this Sunday after the service is our monthly grief support meeting. They meet on the second Sunday of every month. Uh, Jenny and Tomasa and her team of grief supporters are there for an in-person meeting with a meal. If you are grieving, if you need some support, the holiday season is tough. I understand you can, uh, especially if you've lost a loved one, it's yep. tough to navigate this holiday season. Uh, the in-person meeting is Sunday after church. If you're here this morning watching this video, it's today right after church in generations. You don't even have to share anything. Just let them do what they do. They encourage, they love, they'll bless you. They'll help work you through the grief process. And then um, you can get on the mailing list to get a grief book uh, once a quarter. Man, those are good. Walks those you really through good. a year's worth of grieving. Uh, so, yeah, this Sunday we got that going on. What else we got? Well, it's holiday season. You mentioned the holidays. Uh, you know, loved one ramps up. Uh, your faithfulness food. and giving. Yeah. Uh, it's just, man, thank you. Uh, let's finish well in that. But also holiday schedule, Jake. Uh, Christmas falls on Sunday That's this right. year. And so we've got a little bit of different schedule going on this year. Uh, every seven years when it falls on this day, what we do is, is we do a Christmas Eve service. This year we'll do a Christmas Eve service at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on Christmas Day, we're not going to do a service because right. we want you to spend time with your family. Uh, and so just kind of put a note on your calendar, be planning that direction. We will have a Christmas Eve service at five o'clock. And then Christmas Day, you go spend time with your family and uh, hang out with them and celebrate the birth of Christ. And so you'll hear more about that. We'll keep announcing that. You'll start seeing signs go up. Uh, so, you know, just... Just just so you know, I know yeah. it seems early. I mean, it's really not because I was looking at the schedule. Uh, for, I don't even know what I was looking at. I was pulling up the schedule to look at maybe a doctor's appointment or something, and I noticed like Thanksgiving's like a week and a half, two weeks away. Yeah, I was I, like, how the heck did that happen? I know. I was, I was telling the kids last night that they were talking about getting out of school next Friday, and I went, no, you got two more weeks. And they were like, no, we get out. I was like, oh, man. Time oh. flies when you get old. Hey, speaking of giving, uh, your faithfulness has been great. We do have a change we're fixing to do. We want to always be good stewards of what God's given us. And so we've done some research and been looking at our online giving, our um, text to give. Every one of those, just like if you go into a store, um, a Brookshire's, or you go into Red Rooster to eat or Tally's to eat this afternoon, when you use your debit or credit card, there is a charge on fee. the back end, a, a fee, fee that those merchants have <coughs> and they have to pay just like we do. So we're always negotiating those behind the scenes. So we've made a change. I know you're probably not going to be able to see that, but uh, this is going to be a new giving slide that you've probably already seen today. And so if you're going to text to give, that number has changed. You will text SHFTX. Now listen to this. This is important. You can see this on the screen in just a minute to 732 Five six S H F T X to seven three two five six. When you text to give, it'll take you to the uh, same platform that you're used to, and that is just allowing us to save some money on that back end of those fees. Also, if you have an online reoccurring gift that you set up at shf.church or that same platform, we're going to ask you to go into the old platform. There's two buttons on our website that you can go into the old giving form and you can go look at the new one. We need you online givers that have reoccurring gifts to go in and cancel that. Otherwise, uh, you're going to be given twice on that if you set up a new yeah. reoccurring gift and, and the old one's still there. So uh, if you need instructions on that, you can come to one of us, Jake or myself, Andrew as well, Brian, any of our staff. Don't come to me. I'm not very smart at this kind of stuff. It, I'm going to have to figure it out. Yeah. He can figure it out. Now, how how long do they have to do this? Well, we want you to do it now. Yeah, but, but, but yeah. It, we're going to run both giving platforms until the end of January. But don't 
don't, don't wait. wait. Don't, don't wait. Just go ahead and do don't it now. We're going to keep talking about it. They're going to be talking about it from the stage, Jake yeah. and David, as they're doing offering talks. They're going to be talking about this. Uh, that way we transfer uh, over to this yeah. new um, service. It's going to save us about $3,000 a year. Yeah, so it's, it's huge uh, that we can do that. And that's why we want to be good stewards. And, that, and, and so you guys give faithfully. We always want to honor that and, and trust the Lord, but we also want to be wise in what we do. So um, more on that, if you're going to text to give, SHFTX to 73256. Go online, cancel your old reoccurring giving, and then sign up on the new reoccurring giving on the platform. I know that sounds like a lot. It does. uh, But we'll keep talking about it. You have questions, go to the information booth. Brian will be there. Jake, I could, you catch me. Uh, Andrew, our worship pastor, he also. He's pretty tech. Technologically sounded. Technologically, yeah, um, yeah. So, hey, real quick, just just an update. We we have not heard anything else from our team in Honduras. That's good news. Uh, we we take no news as good news. Uh, that things are progressing along. I know some of you have given uh, towards that. Uh, the needs that they have, we still don't know the full needs. Anytime you're on foreign land, sometimes communication is hard. So keep praying for Gary and Sylvia uh, as they continue the work there uh, in Honduras. And as soon as we have an update, we may not have an update until they come home. Uh, we will be sharing more with you, maybe an opportunity for you to minister uh, financially to meet their needs. So we're grateful for them. Our Jamaica team's home. Uh, you'll be hearing more about that in the coming weeks and, and their trip. And so really excited about that. What else you got, bud? Man, nothing. Okay. Hey, Summit, we love you. We hope you have a great day today. Uh, If you're here on Sunday, we are trusting the Lord is going to move in this place. The Holy Spirit's here, and uh, we believe that there's going to be transformation today. So we love you. Can't wait to see you Sunday. Have a great weekend.